Tom grew up in this house. We've been living here almost a year now. At first, I didn't like it here. The commute is so long, especially after a long shift at the hospital, and nothing is close. Initially, we thought about selling the farm but I think I'm starting to understand why Tom loves this place. It's peaceful, calming, and so pretty. The more time that passes, the more this place grows on me. Now, I'm not sure I could live anywhere else.
Finished? No. <sighs> There's a lot of work to get done before spring. Dinner's getting cold. your granddad's truck? I think so. It's been here as long as I can remember. See? You don't need a new truck. You can just fix this one up. Yeah. I could probably handle the repairs, right? Everyone knows they'll lose their parents one day. But when it comes, we're never prepared for it. Especially when it's unexpected. It's been almost two years since the accident. Tom doesn't talk about it. But I know he thinks about it daily. He and his father ran this farm. Together they worked every inch of this place. Now, Tom is on his own.
Tom can make the farm profitable again. I know it. He just needs to realize this for himself. Sometimes, I feel like we're drifting apart. I guess our hurts are deeper than I want to admit. It's scary how alone I feel sometimes. More often now than ever. I remember when I was a kid, I used to love getting the mail. I'd hear the mail truck turning the corner and run to the mailbox as fast as I could. Now, that same mailbox is just another reminder of the pain that Catherine, that we are going through.
Thought you weren't going to wait up. Don't I always? <laughs> Tom, the accident wasn't your fault. I know. Do you? Because it seems like you're trying to punish yourself. I left him. You had no idea that was going to be the last time you would see him. I should have been driving that night. And then you both might be dead. I just have to work this out. Go to bed. I'm right behind you. Good to see you. Hey, Joy. See you this afternoon. All right. So, what do you want to do? Toy box. <laughs> okay, then. When you come I home. never want to guess. Right. So, I guess we are playing our normal princess bad guy action hero figure game. Yes, you be the princess and I'll save you. All right. Oh! <gasps> oh no! I've been captured again! Don't worry, Princess. I'll save you. <laughs> oh! That was my knee! Nope! Ah. Ah, get away! Okay, who's ready for some lunch? I am. We have two options, peanut butter and jelly, or jelly and peanut butter. Hey, that's the same. Okay, Darren, 
it's ready. The day Catherine came into my life, I was made whole. I love her more than life itself. She has so many internal struggles. She keeps it all in, and I don't know how to help. The joy this place brings us is often overshadowed by hurt. Her pain is deep, and I don't think I fully understand it. What's up, buddy? Ah! Wow! Do it again! Do it again! I think the troops are escaping the jail. No, you're not gonna escape my jail. I will so escape no. your jail. Yes, uh. You're going to another jail, which you're gonna be stuck in forever. Can I have this guy? No, he's uh. a bad person too. But. I think your mom is here. No! I've got some time. You wanna play for a little while longer? Yes. You want some coffee? Absolutely. He's growing up. He sure is. He's a beautiful child. I used to think we had all the time in the world. You're still young. It's just not the timeline I was planning. Sometimes the best things aren't planned.
I think the more anxious I am, the more selfish I become. Worry makes me focus on myself and not on the ones I love. 
I worry about Catherine, I worry about the farm, and I worry about myself. Will I ever measure up? I need to put my focus back where it belongs, back on the things that matter the most. Okay. I have to start focusing on others, especially those that I care for the most. Somehow, I have to work this out. Hurt yourself? Oh, that's not bad. I sure bled a lot. Let me take a look at it. I think it's fine. Doesn't look like it needs stitches. Not sure I would be chopping wood for a few days. Well, we'll see. first met. Yep. You were a dork. <laughs> hey. That was a pretty cute dork. You had potential. Come on. You couldn't get enough of me. <laughs> Maybe. Not that young. It feels like a lifetime ago. Mm. It was not that long ago. Hmm. 
Come on. You need to get some sleep.
understand. I understand what? I don't understand why it's stuck. I've never gotten it stuck here. And this is the good tractor. It never breaks down. Dad would know what to do. What do you mean? Just call it a tow truck. He, uh... Dad would just know what to do. How to get the tractor out. How to fix the motor. How to get the farm making money again. Everything. I make enough. You should be able to do what you want. Well, that hasn't happened. You know, you could switch to part-time. Family practice, instead of having to work in the ICU for hours on end. It's not what I was talking about. I know. Then why did you say that? Because I can't fix the real problem. You want to get tested again? No. I've been tested and tested and we've tried all of it. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. You can't do anything about it. It's just... It shouldn't be this way. Yeah. Maybe it's in God's hands. I'm not sure what that means anymore. I think it means we pray, hope, and do our best. You don't pray anymore. Yes, I do. Just not out loud. Yeah. Me too. just felt like my prayers were unanswered ignored
come on. Let's get some dinner. What you looking for? I know Dad had a repair manual for that tractor. Well, I certainly haven't seen it. It's probably in the barn. I'm headed up there now to take a look. Have a good day at work. Good luck. A spare for everything.
So. Whoa. <sighs> I see you left me a trail of presents. Wait, you're home? What time is it? It's almost seven. Oh. You've got some cleaning to do. <laughs> oh, and um, your tractor looks good. I'll be back. I'm gonna put the tractor in the barn. Well, hurry back. Getting up. It's 5:45. Go back to sleep. No, I'm. I'm going hunting. Hmm. You. Love you. Don't forget dinner. You got it. Have a good day at work. Thank you. Tom has always felt at home in the fields and the woods. He knows them like the back of his hand. Maybe it's because he grew up working in the fields and hunting and fishing with his father in the woods. It makes me happy to see him at peace. I know he feels a connection to this place. I think he still feels connected to his father when he's outside.
Hey, Ron, this is Catherine. Hey, so it's probably not a big deal, but Tom went out hunting this morning and he hasn't come home yet. Yeah, um, I would call him, but you know, there's no service anywhere near here. Thanks. Yes, I will. Uh, bye.
car is like it's like a half mile down, okay? Okay. I guess we're gonna see how strong I am. Okay? Alright, come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. like you could use some help seriously I mean look at you sure can you hand me those needleless pliers Love is a funny thing. It brings us our greatest happiness and our greatest pain. <laughs> the cost of love is that we can and will eventually lose it. And the chance we take with love is that it may break our heart. <laughs> but in the end, love makes us better stronger. And when we love together, we can yeah. overcome any hardship. And it's worth it. Every moment.
It's gonna be a beautiful one. Yes, it is. Much can top it. <clears throat> I'm going to get a new journal. Yeah, you finished the old one? No. I'm just ready to start a new one. life at our age. Yeah. Maybe that's okay. Maybe it's okay that life hasn't turned out how we wanted or expected it to. Maybe all that matters is that we face it together. Yeah. Yeah. Just take life as it comes. Even if we are alone. I don't think we're alone. Staring at the cornfields again? Dad, I was reading. Hey, get your plates, you two. Dinner's getting cold. 